Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Don't mind the fake tan on my face. I think I went a little bit ham yesterday, but I'm finally home and I literally haven't weighed myself in two weeks. I know it's not Wednesday, it's Tuesday, but I've been so intrigued. So I'm going to hop on the scales and see what they have to say. Um, to be honest, I don't think I would have lost anything. I wasn't as strict as I wanted to be when I was in Perth. I did have a few extra treats here and there, but I did stick to the meal plan probably like 70 to 80% of the time. So I'm going to set you guys up. Oh, by the way, I got an Apple Watch. So I will let you guys know how I like it after I've used it for a bit. Okay. Okay, that's a bit high. Maybe I should put you down a little bit lower. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, so my last weight was 65.2. I remember the last time I weighed myself, I had gained 100 grams. Pretty sure. Alright. Sixty-five point eight. So that is what the scales say. Yeah, not surprised. As I said before, I literally had stuff over the meal plan pretty much every single day. I don't think those chocolate and peanut butter jelly bobs or jelly fat bombs helped. So I gained six hundred grams. To be honest, I thought it would be like a kilo or more, but yeah, 65.8. But that has just motivated me into, you know, really knuckling down these last three weeks of my plan. So I've set myself some goals, no treats, no chocolate, no extra food that's not on the plan. Um, because I do have a goal at the end of the day. I have been a bit like overly lenient and maybe a little bit too confident um just because i've been getting really great results so yeah i'm gonna definitely knuckle down these last three weeks it's only three weeks it's literally nothing um and see if i can get down to 60 kilos probably won't i probably like i'd be happy with like another two kilo loss but um yeah, I'm no, in no rush at all to get down to 60 kilos, honestly. Like, I'm just so happy with how I feel at the moment and, like, what my body's looking like. It doesn't really faze me if I don't get down to 60 kilos. Anyways, enough with the rambling. I'm going to go and have my apple cider vinegar shot, which I haven't had in, like, a week. I know. Um, and then I'm going to make a smoothie for breakfast because I had fa fasted for 17 hours. So, I've prepared some shots. <laughs> okay. Far out. Alright, I'm going to go and make my smoothie. Fill this up with water. Okay, so for my smoothie, I'm using some diced avocado. This one's just from Coles. It's frozen. Some No Way protein powder. And then I'm going to mix some of this AO almond milk. It's like literally my favorite almond milk ever. So I just weighed up 100 grams of this. Actually, I might do this first because I'll add like 200 mils of this, which should be the rest of it. I'm just going to put the rest in. Then I'm just going to add a scoop of this which I get from Elite Sups. It's literally amazing. It's 
So I'm gonna add one scoop. I'm just gonna blend it up. Okay, let's do a taste test of the frozen avo. It's definitely a lot thicker because the avo was frozen. Tastes virtually the same. Except the avocado is like so thick. But that's not a bad thing. Cool. I'm going to finish this. Go get ready. I probably won't do any makeup or anything like that because I only have four girls today. Um, so, yeah. I guess see you when I get home. I need to do some shopping today. I think I might go to Aldi after. Um, so, I'll show you guys what I pick up from there as well. Oh, oh, my God. I can't wait to use my air fryer. I missed that so much. I literally can't get over how long oven takes in comparison to um, air fryers. But... Yeah, I will speak to you guys later on. <sighs> hey guys, so I literally just got home, did a few clients in the salon, went to my PO box and picked up some stuff for my unboxing that I'm gonna film. After I have some lunch, is that even in focus? It's only like 11, but I'm starving because I've had a really early breakfast, so. I'm just gonna set you guys up and show you guys what I got this week. I spent around, how much did I spend? I think it was around $80, just because I literally had nothing in my um, fridge. So, got some of these. So I went to Aldi as well as um, Coles. I just like Aldi a lot <laughs> and it's a lot cheaper. So from Coles, I got some more of my favorite almond milk. I got some water. I just took two of them out because I couldn't be bothered bringing the whole thing up. Um, I got some iceberg lettuce. I got two of them because they were a dollar each. I got some rump steak gonna put these in the fridge as I go. Then I got a capsicum, I got some cauliflower and broccoli florets, I got some regular beef mints for my patties, and then I got a cucumber. And that was from Coles. Then from Aldi, I just got a box of tissues, some liners for my bin, some um, dishwashing stuff. I got two 12 packs of eggs just got some like disinfectant wipes and stuff for my benches and some decaf coffee might make a coffee actually I am so tired okay oh yeah I also got some baby spinach thickened cream I got some chicken thigh fillet I got some shortcut bacon, which I will put in a plastic container. I got some cherry tomatoes, cream cheese, and then three avocados because they're so cheap at Aldi. It's so good. I think they were like a dollar fifty each or something like that. I'm gonna cook my lunch now. I'm pretty sure it's just a bacon and cheese salad thing. Um, and I'm gonna combine my snack, which is just some boiled eggs. Okay, so on the meal plan, I have an easy bacon keto salad, and then I'm gonna add two eggs, which is my snack. 
to that as well. I might fry them actually. So I just need to weigh 50 grams of chicken thigh, which I have here. Cook two bits of bacon and then just add some lettuce, olive oil, and cheddar cheese. How easy does that sound? So I'm just gonna put my pan on. Alright. I'm gonna weigh 50 grams of chicken. This will be too much. Yep. Double. So I'm just going to cut this in half pretty much. 70 grams. And that'll do. Sometimes I'm a bit lenient with stuff like that. Like what's an extra like 20 or 30 grams? It doesn't really seem like much chicken anyways. While I'm doing that, I might put on my bacon. I usually just put my bacon in a container like this. Like after I open it. So I'm just gonna cook two slices of bacon. On the pan. So I like to kind of like crumb my chicken with some psyllium husk and some hemp heart. It just like adds extra flavor and yeah, it just kind of makes it feel like it's crunchy. So I'll just like pop a little bit of that on. I'll show you guys when I'm done so you can see what it looks like. It's kind of hard holding the camera and doing this. So it doesn't seem like a lot of chicken, but I do have bacon in the pan. So that's like my other source of protein. But so this is what I do. I kind of just like mix the chicken like with those two and just create a little like crumbing base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in the air fryer. So I'm just going to quickly rinse my hands. Turn the air fryer on. I just realized I could have put my bacon in the air fryer as well. Oh well. I'm just gonna put it in for 10 minutes on 180. And yeah, how's my bacon going? I don't usually like cooking any oils or anything just because like the bacon um, like kind of cooks in its own fat and that's the same with my meat patties too. When I go to cook them on the pan, I don't add any oil or anything because they like produce so much oil. All right, so I'll just wait for that to cook and then I'm gonna prepare my salad. So I'm just going to... Basically, all that's left on the salad is 30 grams of cheddar cheese. I know you're not really supposed to use shredded cheese, like because it does contain um, corn starch. Sorry, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, and like added sort of preservatives and stuff, but may as well like just use it up and not waste it. Let me actually check the best before. Yeah, it expires next year, so may as well just use that. So I'm gonna measure 30 grams of cheese. Bacon's done. I'm just gonna crack two eggs. I might actually make a little scramble and add this um, cheese to the scramble. Just for something different. Some lettuce and kind of like mash it up.
eggs literally take like two seconds to cook. Alright, I'm just going to leave that there. Pop the cheese on it. Yum. I'll just leave that to rest a little bit. Might pop the bacon on just to like reheat it. <laughs> I always have a habit of like cooking things too early and then like having to wait. I've only got three minutes left anyways. Let's check up on the chicken. It's been in for eight minutes. Mm. I'm just gonna put it for an extra two. Just in case. Um, and then yeah, add it all onto this plate, cut it. Yum. All right, one minute left, but I think they're done. So let's take him out. Ooh, they're so crispy. Oh shit. I always do shit like that. Okay. I think my inserts for my air fryer came today. So I'm so excited. All right, I'm just gonna cut into this. Just have a look and see if it's all G. It should be though. Perfect. All right, so let's pop you up here. All right, so here's just my iceberg lettuce. I'm gonna add my chicken on top. I don't know where I'm gonna put my scrambled eggs, probably on the side. <laughs> My meals are so random. I'll cut my bacon into like pieces. Oh my God, people are going to be like, you are crazy. Oh well, I felt like scrambled eggs. All right. Mmm, yum. I'm just gonna put some pink Himalayan salt on the eggs. The dressing that I'll use on top is this one. It is the Walden Farms Locale Caesar dressing. These are the macros for it. I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys before, but I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on. I might shake it first. This is not in the meal plan, but I just like a little bit of flavor. Um, so that is lunch. Take you guys over here. If you guys hear like kids, there's people in the pool. <laughs> Maybe back. Let's take a picture of this. Right, let's eat. I made a goal this week to only have water no next bar or anything else so i got into like a really bad habit of having next bar all the time all right i'm gonna eat Definitely hit the spot. I always love combining my meals, like my snacks with my either dinner or lunch. I always do it. I feel like more satisfied. And that way I'm only eating three times a day rather than four. I'm going to go and freshen up, redo my hair, and then open some exciting packages that I've been waiting, I feel like, forever for mainly from wish 
low carb emporium what else not my eye herb order that's still coming but yeah mainly wish and low carb emporium so i'm gonna go and clean this shiz up and film that video hey guys so i'm in a little bit of a rush i did my hair and makeup wearing my camilla play suit i'm just cooking some steak and veggies with some garlic butter before just because i probably won't like eat when i get back because it'll be late i'm um, just finishing off my electrolytes but yeah i just filmed my second unboxing um and this is the aftermath God, I can't even turn the aircon off in this room. That's about it. Just put my heels on and I'm done. I'll try and film at the concert, but I probably will be flagged for copyright if I do. So we shall see. But yeah, I'll try and film a little bit at Pre's if we have time. Um, Michael and George um, are going to have a few drinks. So, yeah, I'm going to take my steak off now because I think it's ready. This is a porterhouse steak, by the way. Hopefully, I don't get it on my top. Actually, you know what I might do? <laughs> I might put this here like this. Oh, I still need to brush my curls out. I might put this like that. But anyways, I'm going to eat really quickly, so I will speak to you guys later. So my friend George has just come to pick me up um, and we're off to Taylor Swift. Actually, we're not going to Taylor Swift now. We're going to go to Michael's house to have a few pre-drinks while I'm not drinking. Um, they're going to have a few drinks and then we're going to go to Taylor Swift. I'll leave the camera on because I don't think he knows that I'm vlogging. So he'll be like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, ready? <laughs> Do you have anything? What for? Your... That. Sure. Yeah, bro. Some clothing. Some clothes? Yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> did you know? No, did no. You know that it was recording. You're, you're vlogging this. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I thought you realised when you walked in. No. Oh, so I'd surprise you, did mm. Cuteness. Oh, I should have brought a new battery, even though I can't really vlog at the concert. You can. No, because it's copyright. Not it's copyright. Hey, Swizz is my mate. Should be right. Are you, you seek help. You've got something there, there on your mate. hand. <laughs> okay, don't try not to let it distract you while we're um, yeah. driving. Okay, we've got some questions. George, <laughs> can I introduce yourself here. <laughs> no, he's been on my channel heaps when not, I did his makeup. Yeah, you've done, done my like makeup, two. I've done your makeup, yeah. you've been in my vlogs, not for a while though. No, um, both sort of like <laughs> we haven't really seen much of each other over the past like three or four months, but yeah, because I've been traveling heaps. And I've been, I've been really Perth. busy with uni and stuff, so yeah, good to see you, doll. Yeah, doll. Yeah, doll. Better drive in. And I feel like I haven't been as social doing this challenge, but I have three weeks left. She's um, looking amazing. Thanks. Absolutely. Love it. It's worth it. Like it's twelve weeks of your whole fucking life that you're gonna change. Like that that's how I see it. Yeah. Even if it means I did you know, a kid keto thing for like two months, but now you're lazy. Yeah, so look at that. <laughs> But did you like how you felt on keto? Yes, 100%. Yeah. yeah. So, Are you going to do it again? Or? Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm actually starting next week. Um, I'm doing it up until just before Christmas. Yeah, that's what well, I pretty you much can, am if too. If you want to, you don't have to do it strictly for like six months. You can yeah. do it for like a month, two months. Yeah. My mum did it for about two months. Oh, brothers. did she? Yeah, my brothers did it as well. My brother lost 10 kilos. Oh, shit. Was like shit. 15. I wasn't actually doing it to lose weight, I was more doing it to feel good. Yeah. So. But you did lose weight. I did. I lost the right kind of weight. So yeah. Like where, where I usually hold weight, stomach weight, yeah. Like you weren't like in a calorie deficit to lose like No, no, no. I was actually, just... I actually put on 
muscle of yeah. that size, but I still lost the weight, the um, yeah. fat around the areas that I didn't like. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, so when are you going to do it again? When are you going to start it? I want to do it next Monday, but it, it does. You got to put time aside to be able to like buy yeah, like everything. Yeah. And prep. <laughs> we may as well tell them how we met. Yeah. At, at a gay club. We met at a gay club. Um, Two Halloweens was, ago. She thought I was straight. Um, <gasps> we kissed. Oh yeah, we and kissed. And I had. She actually put up on her Snapchat at the time a video of us. Absolutely smashed out of our brains. <laughs> we literally and, uh, we both up. had red lipstick. Like you all told me you were bi. So around, I, was like, That's I had fun. red lipstick all around my mouth, and it was all like up her cheek. And we were in the cab, and I'm like, and you're we're like falling room. asleep together. And then her mum, I stayed at hers. No, no, she stayed at mine. Yeah, I stayed at yours. Nothing happened though. Nothing happened. We literally just passed out, but that was that was so funny. I literally yeah. woke up the next day, and I was like, no. Yeah, she woke up in a gay man's bed. See ya, Where do you guys see yourselves in five years, relationships and career-wise? No, I think I, I, I already answered this on my Today. Instagram yeah. story on yesterday when I was on the plane. Like, I'd love to have my own makeup line one day. That would be amazing. Makeup shop. Um, just because I'm currently renting, like, a place at the moment. Um, yeah, that's my real goal. Makeup line. You can do that. Oh, it takes so much time. I reckon time. just wait till the new year to plan it. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, I'm going away. Get a business mentor or something like that. I'm going away at the end of the year, so I'm not really looking yeah. to do anything like that until we yeah, next year. What about you? Is it um, I have five a year. years. Five years time. Okay. Well, what? Where? where what, what are it, you going to be doing? What am I doing the next five where years? Where are you going to live? So, uh, in December, I'm going overseas to Copenhagen in Denmark for six months to do a so semester jelly. abroad. Um, so I'm just gearing up to that at the moment. Um, and then when I get back, I just have to do an internship, uh, which I'm thinking about doing in Sydney. So spending oh, cool. some time in Sydney. That's yeah. nice. Sorry, no. <laughs> now I'll probably be in Perth anyway as yeah. well. Uh, and then um, I want to either start my career in the UK, because I'm a British citizen, or in um, Sydney or Melbourne and I want to get into the creative media space, creative direction. Nice. Yeah, so that's my so plan. Relationship wise, fuck those. <laughs> see you go. Well, Thank you. See Next. you go. God. Who is your favourite artist, like singer or songwriter? Well, that's He's it. He's obsessed with Taylor I'm Swift. I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift, so when she said she got tickets, I was actually like so jealous because I was meant to go this year but it was going to be a bit expensive and I loved yeah, it. Yeah, tickets were like $600, the VIP I ones. I think they were actually were 800 yeah. So, so when she said she had tickets, I was like, I have to go and I'll be so upset if you don't take me. I pretty much know every word to every song that she's written and yeah. I if you just haven't said, I yet, go just... check out me and drag on Jazz's channel. I look <laughs> fucking stunning. You were loving yourself Beautiful. that day. I was where's feeling the, my oats. Where's the um? Where's the volume? Oh uh, yeah. This is my favorite. Listening for the best. My reputation's never been worse. So. when she got them done. True story. Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, he's not my ex. He is a homosexual. homosexual. So, yeah, I don't have a boyfriend at the moment and I don't need self-love. Self-love. You don't need no man. I don't need no man. No. <laughs> I do need a man. No, no, no. That's enough from us. That's enough. Sure. Yeah, we'll see you at the concert. It's been going for 12 minutes. <laughs>
it's now been a few days since the vlog that you just saw. Um, but I went and saw the doctor for my blood test for my cholesterol today. And I thought I would just add it in at the end of this daily vlog because I do want to share with you guys obviously what my results are and um, seeing a doctor with keto experience and more knowledge than the doctor that I saw in Perth because he didn't even seem to know what keto was or he did but he just didn't really have that much knowledge about it like the doctor that I saw today so the doctor that I saw today was actually on keto he's been on and off it a few times and loves it so I was like that's probably the best type of doctor to see someone that's actually done it for themselves and obviously has done research about it so um yeah I'm gonna share my results with you guys is that a rash anyways yeah I'm gonna cook my dinner I'm just having two meat patties and an avocado so I'm just gonna cook that and then sit down and eat with you guys and share what he said to me basically about my results. All right, so I've just made my dinner. I just have some meat patties, two 100 gram meat patties with a whole avocado mashed up. Um, so it's gonna be a little mukbang video. All right, so when I was in Perth, I got my blood test done. For cholesterol I've obviously never like been to a Perth doctor because I'm not from Perth so I just basically went to any doctor that was nearby and so I have my blood test and I get a call saying you need to come in ASAP so I like freaked out I was like usually they only call if something's like really wrong so I was like, shit, called them, went in the next day and got a doctor that I had no idea who he was. He was just a random GP. And he said, look, um, your cholesterol is through the roof. And I said, yep. And then I explained everything that I'm doing keto. He honestly had the most basic knowledge of keto i was so surprised like he didn't even know what someone on keto ate in a day he was like oh so run me through what you would typically eat in a day and then like you know obviously told him everything and he just had no idea no idea about the fats that you ate moderate protein low cut like nothing like that and that was like like when he basically was asking me a doctor asking me about this diet that's when i knew no nah, i'm not gonna believe anything he says um i'm gonna go and research and find a doctor that knows about keto um so yeah i basically was just like sitting there like yeah whatever he was saying it's not sustainable long term pretty much hearing everything that you don't want to hear like you need to cut down on your fats. And then he was like, maybe you should, you know, have half the amount of fats that you're having and maybe increase your carbs by a little bit. I was like, then I won't be in ketosis. I was like, okay, whatever. So yeah, basically. Now that I'm back, I went and saw a doctor here locally that my mum's boyfriend who is on keto goes and sees. Um, and the doctor actually has been on keto before and actually knows what keto is like freaking all doctors should anyways so i ran him through everything told him about how i've lost 25 kilos the last six months that i've been on keto i've lost eight i went and got my cholesterol checked blah 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 first thing he said was um like that's understandable that's normal um, and then he just ran through everything that I was basically watching online videos from, I can't remember the names off by heart, Dr. Berg, I think, Thomas D something. I'll leave all the videos that I watched about high cholesterol on keto, but basically what they were saying is it is normal for your cholesterol to elevate when you're losing weight. And then it's more likely to, um, 
you know, sort of go into the normal range when you're when you start maintaining your weight and you stop losing. So when you're losing the majority of your weight, that's when your cholesterol can be high. And that is normal for the first six or so months of keto. So I didn't have any cholesterol results to compare because I've never gotten it tested before. Um, so yeah, my cholesterol was sitting at 10.1. Normal ranges is five and below. My LDL was 6.8. The... Um, normal range for that is below 3. The only thing that was in the normal range was my HDL cholesterol, which was 1.7. Um, and that was, and the normal of that is below 3.5. So that was the only thing within the normal range. I'm going to leave heaps of articles and videos down below for you guys to watch if you guys are concerned with cholesterol. But basically, what this doctor and the doctors that I've been watching on YouTube have said is it is not necessarily a bad thing having higher cholesterol being on keto. He did say, and he did recommend, he is actually doing the 18 6 hour fast. Sorry, 18 hours fast, 6 hours eat, as opposed to the 16 to 8, which is what I'm doing now. So, how fasting works is I'm currently doing the 16 hour fast every single day and then I eat for eight. So for example, if I stop eating at 6 p.m. the night before, I can't eat until 10 a.m. the next day. So now I'm gonna try and do this 18 hour fast. He loves it and he said there's so many more health benefits um, doing the 18 hour fast. So I thought I would just share a few with you guys. So simpler, more productive days, increased natural energy, better diet decisions, more focus, reduced cravings, fewer late night snacks and drinks, better workouts and improved digestion. So yeah, he said that has worked really well for him um, and he would definitely recommend me doing that. Um, so I'm going to try it and see how I go. I know I am struggling at the moment with 16 hours, um, but I'm going to try and see how I go because I do get quite a bit of late night cravings. I always have my mocha decaf because I just always feel like something sweet after dinner. But yeah, I'm going to definitely try the 18 to 6 fasting. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. But yeah, I did promise that I would share my cholesterol levels with you guys. If you are worried about your cholesterol just go and get a blood test. You have to be fasted for 10 hours before, so keep that in mind. Um, you have to go see a doctor and they give you a form like this. I'm gonna go get my um, cholesterol checked again in four weeks from now. So they give you like a pathology form. I've also, since I've gotten my results, I was a little bit worried before I started watching the videos I'm about cholesterol and keto. Um, I have cut down a little bit on my butter because I have noticed that there is a lot of added butter in the meal plan. So I've just cut down a little bit on that. So I'm not having all of my butter in a day um, and cutting down on like bacon and stuff. So I'll try and swap my bacon and egg meals for something different. Um, cream cheese. I'm not going to have cream cheese pancakes a lot. I'm still going to have them, but not as often. And I'm just going to see if just by reducing those couple of ingredients in my meal plan, that if that affects my cholesterol levels. Um, but he definitely said it, it should a hundred percent. So I'm going to go test this. Yeah. As I said, just before I leave to America, um, and just see how my cholesterol is going, but it is not a bad thing promise watch the videos that i put down below because yeah i definitely was very concerned when i saw it because i was like it's like pretty rare for someone to have like a cholesterol level of eight let alone ten my mum freaked out when i told her um she was really concerned um because she doesn't really have that much knowledge on keto but once i sent her all those videos about it she was a little bit more at ease so yeah, I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, otherwise, I'm back on track. No more treats. I did make some keto lollies the other day. I only had 
a few of them. I haven't had any today. I had like two or three yesterday. But I'll just keep them in my fridge for when I've got a little bit of a sweet tooth and I'll just have one or two. But before when I used to make them, I used to have a whole packet or even two in one sitting because I literally couldn't help myself. But I do really want to cut back on treats until my meal plan ends in three weeks. So, anyways, I will update you guys on my second cholesterol check. Hopefully, it's gone down a little bit, but as I said before, high cholesterol isn't necessarily a bad thing. But yeah, I just wanted to be like brutally honest with you guys. I don't want to scare anyone, even though it's nothing to be really scared about. But yeah, I just thought I would share that bit of information for you guys just at the end of this vlog. So yeah, I'm going to go finish my dinner. I've got a prep for tomorrow. I've got some clients in the salon. I will pick a day next week where I'll vlog my whole day again. It'll probably be Wednesday for weigh-in. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye. Yeah.